Hey guys, it's True Americans here. Welcome back to a brand new video. So today we're going to be doing my official 2020 election prediction between evil Nazi Trump versus my favorite pedophile Joe Biden. So let's get into this video. So we're of course going to start in California where evil Trump and his evil Nazi army are going to come into California and try to tear gas everyone with coronavirus at the polls. Every Democrat at the polls. Where we're going to show them who's boss by using the smart Asians in California to counter um, the evil Nazi army. And obviously California is safe because we're going to be getting huge Asian turnout in Los Angeles and Orange County, and then we're going to force Jeff to endorse us or face certain death. And obviously, Oregon is going to go for us because Antifa, our great lord and savior, Antifa, we're fighting the fascists of, e of Trump's Nazi army, are going to come, are gonna, are gonna, we're going to show them who's boss by suppressing the Republican vote in Oregon. And Washington, too. We're going to express their votes there, too. And obviously, Nevada is going to go for us. I mean, we're going to be getting huge Hispanic support in Las Vegas. And we're going to be storming DX Deity's house and forcing him to endorse us or face certain death. And we're going to do the same thing to Lalo in Arizona if he doesn't endorse us. Um, we're going we're to go to his house. We're, we're going to bring our pitchforks. And we're going to be doing fiery peaceful protests all over Arizona so we can win the state easily. And then Utah's already on our pocket. I mean, Mitt Romney already endorsed us. Mitt Romney knows what's up. I mean, he was a former Nazi in 2012, but now he's our Lord and Savior Republican. And all the farm states are obviously good. They're obviously going for Joe Biden. I mean, obviously going for Joe Biden. I mean, I mean, I mean they're done with Trump's bullshit. They want the Green New Deal. They don't want any of this dumb bullshit that Trump's offering. They don't want any of this right-wing Nazi populism that this country doesn't need. We need Joe Biden and the Green New Deal. We need AOC. We need all those people. Colorado, New Mexico, same thing. Huge Hispanic turn, turn out there. George Floyd and True Americans fiery rallies in Colorado. Fiery high ra my fiery high rallies in Colorado are going to make that state go blue, obviously. And Texas is easily going to go blue because we're going to be storming the evil Nazi commander video's house and we're going to be putting him in prison and we're going to put him in the, in the concentration camps um, that we're going to set up when Biden gets elected um, because you know these Nazis man they get away with everything we're going to show them who's boss by winning this election in a landslide victory so Texas is easily going to go blue and we're going to be putting Commander Video in prison Hawaii is obviously going blue Alaska is going blue and then the evil racist South, obviously Louisiana is going for Trump. I mean, you're going to see David Duke's fiery rallies in Louisiana, making that city easily go red. You know, also the, the Nazis are going to be suppressing the black vote like crazy. I mean, David Duke's, I mean, he suppresses the black vote like crazy. I mean, KKK is going to be coming out suppressing the black vote like crazy. And obviously Arkansas is going to go for us. I mean, Epstein and Bill Clinton's fiery rallies in Arkansas are really going to make that state go for us. I mean, they they love Biden. They love these these neo lib Democrats. Even though I know, I know, I know Biden's a pedophile and everything, but I'm still going to vote for him because it's the most American thing to do. And then obviously the rest of the South is going to be going for us because we're going to be getting huge black turnout and we're going to be suppressing the black vote. Antifa is going to be helping us suppress the white vote in all these southern states that are going to go for us. Obviously, Boward's going to endorse us because we're going to be storming his house too. And we're going to be storming Allen's house. We're going to be storming Xenox's house. And we're going to be also storming DC Perspective. So fuck you, DC Perspective, for doing that video on me. Fuck you. UDC perspective, and we're going to be getting Baxter's turnout too because we're going to give him a great healthcare plan. We're going to scam him by g giving him a healthcare plan that he likes, but we're not going to do it when Biden gets elected because we like to scam people. And then Virginia is obviously going to go for us. I mean, the establishment, it's the establishment. Say, I mean, it's obviously going for Biden. Kentucky, fuck you, cocaine, Mitch. Why are you trying to replace Ruth Gator Ginsburg? That's, a, that's the most Nazi thing to do on an election year. Wait till Biden gets elected. Then, then we can talk about replacing it with an evil, with a good Democrat that's going to that's gonna enact all their our far left policies and in Illinois is obviously going to go first we're gonna be storming we're gonna be putting all of orangutan Nathan's army in prison in the in the concentration camp that's what's gonna happen when we get elected fuck you Nathan and we're also good we're gonna be putting Nick Fuentes in prison Charlie Kirk you two you're going in prison too and Indiana is obviously gonna go for us Pete Buttigieg is gonna be getting huge gay turnout there and then obviously Ohio we're gonna put in Dylan Wiley White Singles in prison and we're we're gonna, we're, I'm, we're gonna be doing fiery rallies with Ryzen and Nina Turner in Ohio. For Biden easily wins that state, obviously. And then Minnesota, Wisconsin, and Michigan. If these states haven't learned uh, with the fiery peaceful protesters that's been going on there for months, and these states, if they don't vote blue this um, November, then we're gonna make the pay by coming in with our huge Antifa army in those all those states. And West Virginia is obviously going for us. West Virginia, they, they're scared of their life. Fletcher and BTD are obviously gonna come out. 
huge for us. So that state's easily going to go blue. D.C. is easily going to go blue, obviously. Maryland's going blue. I mean, our Lord and our, our second Lord and Savior, LTE, Let's Talk Elections, you know, he loves us. We're going to be getting huge gay TikTok turnout. Um... And we're gonna we're gonna send China all our information too. So so with LTE's endorsement, we're really gonna it's really gonna help our cause. And obviously Delaware's going for us. It's the it's the home state of our Lord and Savior Joe Biden. And we're gonna be storming Kevin's house and putting him in prison too. New Jersey and Connecticut are going blue. Pennsylvania is going blue. I mean obviously Pennsylvania is going blue. We're gonna e either Mike endorses Biden now or we're gonna put him in prison. And and the coal simp workers are already on our side anyway, so we're gonna win Western Pennsylvania, and and we're we're gonna also put Mac Agden and Shad Army in prison too. And if the women get elected, we're gonna force them to eat salad instead of Big Macs. And then New York's obviously going blue too. Um, we're gonna destroy New York City if they don't vote for Biden. If New York votes red, then we're gonna destroy New York City. We're gonna destroy Albany, and we're gonna destroy Yappa Mess. That's what's gonna happen in New York. And then Vermont obviously is going blue. Honestly, I, I don't know why sticks, you know, Nazi sticks can get away with everything, but uh, well, us left wingers won't when we just do something a little wrong. We're getting shot at. That's just not fair. New Hampshire and Maine are easily gonna go for Biden too. I mean, Trump already gave up in these states. I mean, he already took out campaign ads in all of these states. So, that's this is my end of my election prediction. Um, our Lord and Savior Biden is gonna be winning in a landslide with 530 electoral votes. The evil Nazi Trump's eight electoral votes. Um, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please leave video ideas in the comment section below. This is just a joke video. Um, don't take anything you hear in this seriously. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video. True Americans Gaming out.